the recommendation in this case was to have a top-down approach, so have the government. My name is Lena from Ifakara Health Institute in Tanzania, and I work in various mal malaria research programs. I've, I've attended this workshop on IBC Forum for Africa because I am, in my institution, um, I've been working on gene drive related projects for a while, and we are just recently forming an IBC at, at Ifakara, and I am one of the members so it just made sense that I participate in this workshop so that I get some knowledge on how to make that functional. It's been amazing. I have learned so many new things. I, while I am a member of the IBC uh, at, in, at Ifakara, I didn't really know all that much about it. It's a very new thing to us. We are just forming it. We haven't even had our first meeting. So this was very useful, it was very timely for us to sort of get an idea of how to make that useful. So I learned about what the functions of IBCs are, how, should, how to make it useful and, and all of that. And then also how to link it to, to the national authorities as well. My biggest take home is we do need to have the IBC because when we talk about gene drives, which is maybe one of the main reasons that th this is called for, um, at the moment it's not in the hands of Africans. Uh, it's mostly developed by our uh, Western partners. So we need, I think this is one of the efforts we're making to give Africans ownership of that. So creating our laws, our regulations, and making sure that when this technology comes to us, our voices are expressed so that it comes to our terms instead of that being dictated. So I really like that it is run by Africans and a lot of the participants here are Africans. It gives me so much hope that this technology will meet our needs if we are adequately involved in this.